So programming in general is full of jargon, strange words that we don't know the meaning of. We know what buttons means, but outlets are a different story. We're going to discover in this lecture exactly what they mean. And basically, in very simple language, a button and outlet is a button and then how we reference that button, how we know what it's called, where it is, what it's doing, when it's clicked. That pretty much covers outlets. So open up your Xcode 8 project and follow along. With your main storyboard open, what we're going to do now is drop in a button. And where do we get this button? Well, there's a handy drag and drop interface inside of storyboards. If we select the main view that's available, and then we head over to the right hand side at the bottom, we have four tabs. We have this first one, second, and it's the third one that is called the objects tab that shows us the items that we can drag and drop into our view. So let's scroll down, or actually before we do that, click on view controller, because that's telling you what a view controller is better than I ever could. And we currently have one in our screen already. All right, let's scroll down and let's find our button. There we have a button. So let's click and drag that into our view somewhere near the top left corner. Now let's zoom in on that button so we can see what it looks like. And this kind of layout may look quite familiar to you. Most iOS buttons are blue with a clear background. But what if we wanted to change those colors? Well, we can click the button and over in the top right, we can click our attributes and we can change all kinds of things. We can change the font, we can change the text color. So I might want red, I might want dark text color. I can change the shadow color if I wish and a whole bunch of other things. I can even set an image or have a background image for my button. So there are many things you can do, but for now, just change the color to a dark color. Now we have an awkward question. How does our view controller code know about this button or what this button does? Well, the answer is it doesn't actually know yet and we have to connect the two explicitly. So over right at the top right corner, we have these three icons. We have a standard editor, we have an assistant editor, and we have a version editor. Click the assistant editor. And what this does is it opens our view controller next to our storyboard file. And this is going to allow us to connect items from one to the other. Hold down the control key, that's not the command key, it's the control key. And whilst you're holding it down, click on button and drag. And look, a line appears. Now let's drop that line somewhere in our view controller between functions, wherever you like or wherever it is appropriate. Release the mouse and you get some options. It asks you, do you want an outlet? And what an outlet is, is a reference to that button. So just for completeness sake, let's create one. And let's give this a name of my button and click connect. And now look at our view controller code. That should all be on one line, but we don't have enough room here. It's saying this is an IB outlet, which is weak. Oh, I'll get into that much later on. And it's a variable called my button of type UI button. Right, so we have a reference to our button. But what if we want to do something when we click the button? Well, that's simple enough. Again, hold down control, click the button and drag over. Release, change the connection to action and give this a name. Call it my button clicked and I should actually make that first letter as capital. And type, I'm going to set this to UI button. Now what this is doing is it's saying this is something that handles an action when an action occurs to this button. And we want the simple click action, which in iOS language is called touch up inside. 
it means you've pressed the button, you've released your finger from the same spot. As you can see from that list, there are many options, and I encourage you to go look those up if you want something a little different. But let's have the simple one for now. Let's hit connect, close our assistant editor at the top right by hitting the lined icon, go over to our view controller dot swift, and let's have a look at what we've got here. We now have this function, my button clicked, which is going to fire every time that button gets clicked. And what do we want to do when we click it? Well, let's cut all of this background color code and drop it into that function. So when this first fires up, we will have a white screen. When we hit the button, we'll have a red screen. Let's click play and run this on our simulator. And there we have it, along with our button. And let's click the button, and boom, our background turns red. So you now have the very basis of all apps that you will ever make, and that is interactivity. Connecting something that your user does with some kind of code function.